Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Derby City Classic. This is Bankpool. We're in round 10 here with Fedor Gorst versus Skylar Woodward. I'm in the booth here with Ashley Woodward, joint guest commentator. I'm so excited to have you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. I'm really excited. Well, I'm thrilled to have you here. So you and Sky, uh, how are you feeling going into this match? I'm extremely nervous. Are um, you more nervous or is he more nervous? Oh, probably me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he says he doesn't get nervous, so... In, he seems that way. Sky has such a wonderful demeanor on the table and off the table. Uh, just a fun guy to watch. And, yeah, it seems like there's not a guy out here who has a bad word to say about him. Oh, no, he's so laid back. I think that's one of the things I like most about him. He's my calm. Yeah, yeah. very cool. <laughs> um, it, if you can pull that mic a little bit closer. If you can hear you, then we should be able to hear you. Is that better? That's way better. Okay, Perfect. Cool. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. So this is a race to three. We're playing bank pool, like we said, for everybody out there. Uh, first person to make five balls wins a game. First, to, first person to win three games wins the match. This is round 10. Um, do you know if Fetter has a loss yet? He does not. Fetter does not have a loss, which means he has the option to buy it back still. Sky has a loss. He lost in the first round here and has fought his way all the way back to round 10. Uh, this is huge, and it's getting deep now. There's, I should have this information. 12 left. Yep. Wow. Two of them, um, Feder and that Fertunski, uh -huh. are the only ones that still have buybacks. Wow. No kidding. Yep. Well, this is exciting. It uh, is. This is my favorite game. I love bank pool, and Sky is one of the first people that I started watching play in bank pool, so it's exciting to get to commentate his match and really thrilling to have you here. That's awesome. Well, thank you. We notice what a family man Sky is and how you're really involved in his pool as well. Yes. Family is really big to us. Yeah. So. Well, how cool. All right. One on the break here. Sky looking at crossing this in the corner. It's probably his best shot. Yep. Stiff in that ball. Yeah. Commentator's jinx, I guess, huh? Yep. Every time. <laughs> oh, he hits that ball great. <laughs> um, we talk a lot about the beginning of the rack being one of the, the best times to run some balls and one of the most dangerous also. I mean, if you don't have a good opening shot. You're going to leave your opponent a whole lot out there. Yeah, especially when you can break the balls and kind of squat wide right, right over there where you can just get an easy cross side get going. Yeah, close to the center of the table. Yeah. All right, Fetter here looking like he's going to try and stiff this on the side. Nope, playing the long rail. Coming up a little bit short. Uh, yeah. This guy might try to stiff that three, but he's got a real natural two railer on the seven in the side. Not sure how he's feeling. He's got the straight buck on the one also. He does. He did mention that he was going to have to play a lot tighter mm -hmm. against Fetter because he does bank so well. Yep. Looks like he's going for it, though. It does. Sometimes it's lined up and you just go. It's kind of hard to see on this monitor, but that three looks like a pretty dead line. Hitting just a little bit wide, but you see him getting that white ball all the way back to the head rail. Yep. It's a nice shot there. Yeah, does, does he talk about much strategy with you? Um, somewhat. It kind of gives me more of a game plan. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I sit yeah. side rail or sit on the rail, he, uh, he'll sometimes talk to me, kind of tell me what he was thinking and stuff, so it makes it easier uh -huh. to kind of understand it more. But Yeah. Have you always enjoyed watching him play? Always. Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been together? Um, we started dating in 2017. Oh, so. wow. And you guys have a kiddo. We do. How old's your kiddo now? He's about to be two. What's his name? Daxton. Daxton. What Daxton a cool Sky. name. Daxton Sky. That's, that's awesome. I think he's going to try again. Yeah? Straight back. Coming off the, oh, yeah. yep, the, off the edge there. Definitely play more of a safe this game than going for him. Yeah. And this has the makings of a long game here. It um, does. Yeah, let's see how Federer takes this. It's interesting watching the American players versus the European players. Uh, the European players less likely to, or just less adept to bank pool, but really, really strong, very calculated players. It looks like the six does have a line to go. I was going to say right between the eight and the nine. Yep. Wow. Comes a little short. Weaves through those balls perfectly, though. Gets back up table. Definitely more playing the two-way. Yeah. I think, for both of them. I think so also. I don't like much of this. I like thinning off the six ball, the left side of the six ball, and coming back up table here. 
he could play yeah, out the, the left side of the nine and kind of come between that seven three gap. Just don't want to take the chance of breaking that out. Yeah, absolutely. Too early. So what's your game? I like nine ball. Nine ball? Yeah. Awesome. That is mine. I love banks, hate one pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just too slow for you? Oh, yes. Yeah. I hate the up table game. <laughs> yeah. It definitely gets old. Hits that gap perfectly. So, I mean, Skyler's been playing at a high level of bank pool since he was, how old, 16? I would say, yeah, probably 16. Maybe, yep. They start them on bank pool in Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you what do you think the biggest change in his game since being able to uh, have opportunities like playing Moscone Cup and getting to train with some of the best players in the world? What, what have you seen change the most in his game? Um, probably his, oh, gosh, that's hard. Um, kind of his mindset. Yeah. When he was 16, he used to swing at everything, he said. He was like, I swung at it, didn't have it, wasn't scared of anything. Now he kind of plays safer, yeah. you know, and I think that's the one thing that has changed. So we have a, we have a say, and I always say, swing it, just swing it. Yeah. And he, he knows that, I mean, when he was 16, and, you know, sometimes he gets in that, that gear where he just wants to swing it. Yeah. But he definitely has slowed down the older he's gotten. It's been really interesting watching Sky's progression and Billy's as well because mm -hmm. Sky is just a little bit ahead of that curve in when he got engaged with the larger pool scene. Mm -hmm. um, but And you see Billy still having that swing it, but you've seen him tame, tame himself a little more. But it seems like they kind of bring out the swing it in one another. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When them two get going, <laughs> they... Uh, Man, he fired that ball at that side pocket. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> I get I get tied up too. Um, Billy, I think, is finally getting over that little curve. I think he's really starting to slow down too. Uh huh. Yeah, I think he's he's coming up on his prime too. I think. Both these guys got a long, serious pool future. I mean, uh -huh. I I talk about these guys as I mean the future of American pool right there. Yep. They're how old is guy? Twenty eight. Twenty eight years old. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you see a bunch of these players out here playing strong at 60 years old. So, I oh hope we yeah. got a long time to come here with Sky Woodward. I hope so, too. Trickling that ball right in there. Mm -hmm. Fetter strikes first. He does. All right. One on the board here. What does Sky have coming up? Anything else to look forward to? Um, I believe he has the PLP, which is the Predator League Pool. Okay. Um, I believe he's going to that. Um, if not, I think he's going to Florida or Oklahoma for an upcoming tournament. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, more more Predator events coming out these days. There is, especially with Matchroom making that new uh, nine ball. Yeah. The points event thing. That's pretty neat. It is. Gives yeah, it's these good guys to see, keep these guys busy, right? Yeah, I was going to say, busy and more opportunities for them. Yeah. Playing that in the side. Cue ball. Yeah, it's boy, that Tymon line looked shots. good. Yeah, yeah for they sure. They real good. Man, timing is everything in this game. Yeah. It seems like you really can't play good one pocket without being able to play bank pool, but it does seem like playing some one pocket can change your bank pool game because that timing is so important. It is. Yeah. It's very important. I don't think he really left Skylar anything on this either. I don't either, man. I... I think somebody can make a two-railer from there. I think he can play that two in the corner if he wants to. And he might... Oh, he's going to try and go cross-corner? Man, I like that shot, but it opens up a whole lot down there. That it does. Potentially as a straight back on the two ball. It looks like that's what he's Thanks. looking at. Catches that seven. Small that could window. be a costly one, yep. Yeah, it was a really little window. He opened up that seven for a very easy bank for Fetter. Yeah, this cross side. Yeah, they just look at these things like meat and potatoes. Oh, yeah. I don't know what Fetter's diet's like, but <laughs> I, I'd call it meat and potatoes. There we go. Oh. All right, Fetter up to two here, and with a pretty good opening. Oh, that one ball's a good shot. It'll be interesting to see how much shape he plays, how much position he plays as opposed to 
uh, just making this ball. It's funny, we, we talk a lot about how these bank pool players can play, can bank for position, and they can, but it seems like very few of them will sacrifice the shot making for the position. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Getting that ball in there is infinitely it's, more yeah. important than... And they can bank things in from anywhere on the table. That helps a whole lot. At this level, oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite pool event that Sky participates in? Um, honestly, probably Derby or Moscone are my two favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that long that rail was, was pretty smooth. Uh, y have you gone to Moscone every time? I have, except for last year. That wow. was the first one I've missed. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, with the whole COVID and everything with my baby, I just didn't yeah. want to put myself at risk. Oh, I think you made the right choice. Oh, hitting that one just a little wide. Will Fetter out to an early lead, up four balls to nothing, putting the pressure on Sky. I think that two ball. Could you like start that cross a couple side? Things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It's interesting. The proximity of object ball to cue ball, I think, determines a lot for these players. Definitely. Uh, agree. The straight back, I think, a lot of players would see as an an easier shot if the cue ball was equidistant to to the object ball. Looks That's good to me. Oh, oh get out of there. No. Oh. Man, oh, man. That might be a little costly on that one for sure. Luckily, all these balls down in the in the foot. But, yeah, that spot shot. A lot of players practice this bank. I'm not much of a bank pool player, and I know I practice this bank. So let's see how Comes he up a it. lot. Mm -hmm. That's actually the position I play from, too. Uh, one diamond out from the foot and then two diamonds. So barely going to hit wide of that six ball here. Oh, oh, it hung it up. Hung. Wow. He what hit great that good opportun too. Yeah, he did. Great opportunity for Sky here. Just going to tap this two ball in. Arguably oh. give him another shot at it, but that's this is tougher. significantly more yeah. difficult shooting out of the pocket. For sure. <laughs> Steve's getting <laughs> shots. Oh, yeah. Old Evidence. McDonald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Old McDonald, that's what you call him? Yes. I like it. That's going to stick. <laughs> A little bit wide. It seems like Federer has eased up a little bit. Get out to a lead, and I understand you don't want to sell out, let Sky back in, but both those banks being right around there. One a little sharp, one a little bit wide. Yeah. Let's see what Sky can do. Straight back here. By the sounds of it, I've heard Federer's played absolutely perfect so far in the banks. Has he? Yeah. Well, awesome. I haven't gotten to watch him play very much. Well, if that's the case, then Sky has drawn the two toughest people in this tournament. Oh, yeah. It, well, including himself and Billy. I, I would say between, I mean, Billy, Sky, Fetter, and Tony. Those are, the, those are the ones to beat. I love this bank in the side. Always playing it in the corner. All right. And playing mostly cue ball there. It's a great shot. So Sky going to go back to zero. He's got to spot that one up. Oops, don't need that. And this is a significantly harder spot shot bank. Oh, and he's spotting one right behind it. Potentially has a four railer on the six. Could play two rails if you wanted. I think we're probably going to see a safe out of Fetter. I think you're right. I don't know. He might swing for it. Four That's ball lead. Playing on the side. Mm -hmm. Golf shot. I love this one. I've been hitting this one narrow, um, so I think he wants to hit up by about close to the side pocket here. I think he went a little bit wide. Yep. yep. Pretty dang close, though. Doesn't sell too much, although I think that six goes around the three. So hard to tell. It really is. I try to, like, draw the line from the pocket. Looks it like it might. Yeah. Oh, no, it looks like he might be playing the five and back up table. More Riddle me this. Game. Do you know what, when they line these up, do you know what they call that? I don't. I thought it was called the pea patch, and I've been saying that this whole time. <laughs> and somebody <laughs> corrected me and said, no, it's a cabbage patch. <laughs> and I just know it's some kind of patch, but <laughs> but I need a, a good source on that. So maybe I'll ask Guy after the match. Yeah, you'd have to ask Scholar. I've, I've never actually even heard either one of those. 
They're like, is that like a West Coast thing? And I was <laughs> just like, I don't think anything with bank pool is a West Coast thing. <laughs> if anything, I think Scholar or Billy would know. I think so, too. And if they don't, it's not a thing, and I've just <laughs> co- completely hallucinated something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always start something new. There you go, yep. It's the vegetable patch <laughs> for now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody was like, well, yeah, they line up. It looks like a pea. And I was looking. It's like easy pickings, like a pea patch. I mean, you're just <laughs> plucking them off. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Sky with a straight back here. Getting, oh, oh get in the hole, goodness. man. And that's exactly where he wants to be on that shot, uh-huh. setting himself up for the rest of this game. Unfortunately, going to leave Fetter a pretty easy cross corner here to end this game one. Can he sink it? Wow. Hold up on him, too. Uh, has has Guy talked at all about the tables tightening up? He did say. He did say they all actually play. They're playing different. So he actually wanted to get here. He actually got to his match 30 minutes early uh, to go ahead and start hitting balls because – Every table here is playing different, but he did say that they're starting to get a lot tighter. It's crazy to me how quickly it happens, too, because they are so slick on day one. We're only in day four of this tournament. And granted, there's a lot of pool being played, but it's not that much pool when you think about it. I mean, it's a a few matches a day, and it it really changes dramatically. It does. It's a great shot. Oh, Again, we're going to lock up all these pockets. I think so. Especially with that three and one ball being there. Mm-hmm. Makes it harder for this two ball to go anywhere. I've seen Sky hit this two rail, um, the Z bank in the corner, yeah. really, really well. And I think that's about all he has to look at here with that three ball and eight ball in the way. Because um, that two ball is out of the kitchen, so it is fair game. Yeah. does scratch or anything. Yep, he's playing yep. it, so the Z, Z bank here. So as these tighten up, he's got to hit even closer down to that one ball. You see that second rail really straighten out. I think you nailed it. Wow, get in the hole. Oh, my wow, gosh. That's unbelievable. This looks like a terrible bank pool <laughs> drill. Something nobody <laughs> wants to does. do. And you spend hours beating your head against the wall doing. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I can't believe that ball didn't go. So now he's got three pockets to aim at. Yep. Um, yeah, I think the four railers blocked for the eight. He might try this six ball three rails. He might just be laying that six up on the eight ball. We'll go ahead and open it up just a little bit. I think he might have been trying that three in the side. Because, yeah, I don't think he wanted to open that up. I think so either. But he doesn't leave Sky anything to bank at, really. Go ahead and start your little, uh, what is it, pea patch. The pea patch, yeah, yep, get it rolling. Pea patch, boy. Man, pluck them <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, that makes me so nervous. They get it so far in the pocket that I think it's just going to. Isn't that wild? Yes. So what I like about the way he played that shot is normally you point hook on the other side. He point hooked him from the one ball, which is what Federer would like to play here to line up the pea patch. This guy kind of making him play off one of those balls down table. And I definitely like that. Um, I think if I'm Fetter, I'm probably playing. I don't really like playing off the six here. I think I'm probably either going to play off the three or the eight. Go ahead and open up that one and three. Yeah, or or the, the five, five three. three. Yeah, and then come back up table, kind of the upper right hand part of the uh, part of the table. Catches the five. Does a good job getting back up there, but definitely opens things up. Hooking oh. him from that one ball uh, comes with just experience because, you know, an amateur like me never would have thought about it. Mm-hmm. So. And again, now you're going to see him try and hook him the other way. Mm-hmm. And again, you, you probably played that a little cautious because, like you said, all these are playing so differently. And as they tighten up, that slows down. But I tell you, my opening shot in bank pool, <laughs> I scratched trying to point hook somebody. <laughs> And I, yeah, I was a little more timid after that. I'm sure that happens all the time. Yeah. Oh, I thought he would have played that three. I thought so, too. Definitely playing it safe. Mm -hmm. I think he's playing more safe this match than he has most of his others. I don't think there's a player in the world that wouldn't play cautious against Sky Woodward. That is true. Maybe Mm -hmm. Billy. 
thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think Billy's about it. Uh, it is the Bluegrass Badass. That's it his is. nickname, right? Yep. Yeah. How do you feel about that nickname? I like it. A lot of people call him the Kentucky Kid. I hate it because Shane's nickname is South Dakota Kid. So just because Shane's the kid doesn't mean Skylar has to be the kid. So, Got it. So, you know, the Bluegrass Badass, I think, gives him his own ring to it. Uh-huh. For sure. And that's what he's known for, where he's from. Man. Oh, man. Excellent shot. Boy, that's oh, selling a pretty good juicy straight back here on this five ball. But Fetter's really got to make sure he pockets this ball. At this point, everything's okay. wide open. Eight ball's still a little bit tough, but for, for Sky to run five and out here would be nothing. So Fetter really got to close this out. Fetter shoots these perfect. Yeah, that's going to be in there. So that's game number one here. Like we said, at the 2020, 2022, I think I said 2020 yes. earlier, 2022 wow. Derby City Classic. Yep. Still doesn't sound right. And you've got Sky Woodward with versus Fetter Gorst. This is Ashley Skyward joining me in the booth. My name is Summerfield Habner. I'm here with Bad Boys TV. Brought to you by OB Custom Cues, Diamond Billiard Products, and of course all of you. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. we got plenty of great pool coming your way. And you said there were 11 players left? 12. 12 players left. Yes, 12 and round. two with buybacks. Two with buybacks. I should write that down so I quit asking you the same question. No, you're fine. I wouldn't know unless Skylar told me, so. Uh, do you know if he just asked to get that info or if he looked it up? He looked it up and did the math. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's really good with numbers. It's tricky on this website. It's not uh, user-friendly. Not at all. I'd rather see a post. Yeah. Like a bracket, but. Monster break there, three on the break. Um, we've talked a lot about leaving enough balls on the table to have a much to shoot at. You'd love to break and run here, but without a good opening shot, I think he's probably going to straight back this one ball right back at him. I think that's his best shot. Maybe not. Is he lined up to the back side of that? I guess so. Oh, no. just a little bit off. All right, so spotting these three balls up. One ball rolled right in front of that pocket, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, and blocking one of the side pockets really changes the game. That it sure. does. Especially at the beginning, because you do have so many more balls oh that yeah. you have more options for. But yeah, you get a little clutter down there in the center, and that changes things a lot. I think he's going to go straight back with it. Yep, straight back here on the five. That nine snuck out and grabbed it. Ooh, that's going to... It's going to oh. hurt again, I think. Yeah. Definitely can twist that right back. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see how aggressive he goes with this. If he wants to get down and make contact with that pea patch or cabbage patch. <laughs> sour patch. Something There patch. you go. It could change to the sour patch when it goes yeah. wrong. I think he oh. missed that ball. That interesting. Was very unexpected from Fetter. Yeah. We'll have to say. Does this seven? No. Does it go? I don't mm. believe so. Does it? He's I think that's asking a lot. Getting under uh, that two ball and maybe getting the, the two, two ball out of the way. It looks like he might play the two. Yeah, straight back on the two. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, shoot, that might be his only shot here. Yeah. So he's looking at that seven. It's hard to tell the distance from the rail here. Uh, the hard thing about it is that he's got to play a bunch of inside to get the cue ball out of the mm -hmm. way of the seven here, and that's going to throw the seven towards the foot rail. Um, so it seems like you'd have to play a little higher on that side rail. I think Fetter let the cue ball go on that shot, though, because I don't think he knew where he no, was I don't going think so at all either. either. He didn't play shape for that. Which, like you said, is really uncharacteristic of him. Very. Just playing behind the seven. It's a nice that shot. Was good. Mm. Something clapping going on. Do you know anything about the 60 Minutes thing that's going on? I just see people walking around with lighting crews in the middle of a pool tournament. Yes. Um, they're actually doing a documentary on uh, kind of getting the pool world going. It's going. It's the same news crew that does 60 Minutes and uh, CNN. So really? it's going to be a news thing for CNN kind of getting pool out there. Very they've cool. reached out to Alex, Shane, um, Skyler, 
stuff like that. So. And they're just kind of following them around for the weekend? Yeah, kind of getting some ideas, talking to them. Um, they interviewed Alex, kind of told him, uh, asked him a couple questions, what they could change, you know. Uh-huh. So. Interesting. Hopefully trying to pull, grow the pool world, especially for the future for these up-and-coming juniors. Yeah. Well, Alex is about one of the most entertaining players out there, so I think they, they picked a good one there. By he far. is hilarious. I couldn't tell if he was talking trash or having fun in his last match, but he kept, he was just like, oh, I don't think this ball goes, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> That's Alex for you. Barking all over the place. I think he was playing Tony, wasn't he? Uh, not in the match I was talking about, but oh. yeah, th I think this match he is. Gotcha. That's going to be fun. Oh, Sky well, got a ball. Sky getting on the board. And, and not in the negatives. <laughs> and not in the negative, yeah. yeah. I think he's going to take the three. Yeah, looking at that three ball. Gosh, the five just feels huge to me from there. But he does have a line on it. So throwing this three ball down to the lower left-hand corner pocket, trying to get on two. Mm. He's thinking about it also. Does, has Braxton played pool at all? Jumped on the table, throwing some pool balls around? He loves to watch pool. Mm -hmm. um, Scholar will give him his pool cue every once in a while. Um and he'll just, the scholar will make a bridge. And he actually, the other day, pulled back and shot the cue ball straight. It That's was crazy. awesome. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, nice try. All right, ends up a little high. He was being real cautious of that five ball. I think that's the way to play it. If, if he doesn't and is allows that ball to leak out, that can be really dangerous. The seven's in a good spot, I think, if he does clip the seven with this nine. I think it will open up a little bit more. Yep. Yep, Federer straight back on the nine here. Do they they call it straight back no matter which pocket, right? Yes. Yeah. Cross corners just when you're coming back across. Yeah. I'm learning all kinds of stuff. Oh, he jammed it. Nailed it. Yep. Seven ball here probably next. And that could really open things up. Both the four and the eight go in that side pocket over there. So big shot here for Federer Gorst. He just shoots so straight. Yes, he does. That might have worked out in Sky's favor here. All right. I didn't think he would hit that five ball like that. Mm hmm. Might play the three ball. The four is a little off angle. It looks like he played the three straighter, but he is jacked up over the four. Yeah. I love these mm -hmm. banks. Get that contact-induced throw. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, his stance is just pretty perfect. Really technically sound. Oh, yeah. I think he I think that might be it. a little short. I think so, too. All right. Leaves him on the rail, so leaves Sky tough. Picking out a couple balls there. I think that's another one of those two-way shots. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah, knowing you got a free shot at something and get back to a safe spot. Yeah. All right. Probably playing the three ball. I like taking the I three in so. the situation because I don't feel like you're selling anything in the side. I th as long as you get up a little bit, you're not going to sell the five or the eight in the right-hand side. Four doesn't go by the one. I guess you're going to make contact with the two, and you could end up selling out the two ball. Depending on where he leaves the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Almost like him putting him right back in that same spot. Just playing safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, looks like he's going for it. You've called it. It's And he's got a good look at it. I just worry about where that two is going to end up. It looks like he's jacking up, though, so maybe going to hit a little, little low and try and avoid that two ball. Just rolling it. Wow. Boy, that looks good. Roll on in there. Oh, wow. oh. My goodness. Worked out pretty well, though. Two gets high enough that he can't really bank that back. Um, can't really tell if he can see the whole eight or enough of it to spike it over there. I think in this situation, he might just choose to make the three or the one. No, he's going for it. Yeah, maybe he can see enough of it. I was going to say, I think he can. Well, and if so, this table really oh, opens up from the there. <sighs> Great opportunity here for Skyler. He's got that two ball. He is off to the races. 
think he does by the way he's yeah he he's looks going, happy getting down <laughs> yeah he's like uh uh-uh. can you tell in a step how he's feeling oh yeah yeah once he gets going a little bit or goes straight for the chalk instead of kind of hesitating you know he's got a shot yep that's all he needed good, perfect good. all right five ball Wayne just stealing lights over here. I don't know what he's got going on. I think so too. <laughs> what is going? That's not even a light from this tournament. It didn't <laughs> look like <laughs> it. Get in there. All right. So Sky in a run of two. He did make one, so one's going to spot up here. In case you're looking at the count and thinking we're off. Uh, glancing off this four ball, trying to drag it to the lower left hand corner pocket. I think it'll play two-way on this one. Yeah. One pocket shot. Get in the hole. Oh, get Not out of the one. hole. The other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Sky taking a lead in this game. I think he needs to put a little pressure on Fetter. Yeah. I don't think Fetter's really had any pressure in the banks, though. I think he's kind of blown by everybody he's played. And it's it's hard playing a player like that when that everyone kind of sees him as infallible. And Fearless. it kind of uh, kind of allows him to be. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he handles the pressure when Sky puts the pressure on him. I do not expect this to be a one-way match at all. I think you nailed it right now. Wow, the trickler. Oh. <laughs> Pocket speed, man. He it's does. He just shot. rolls them off. Yep. Throws them on in. Man, nothing doing here. No. It's like he might play that three ball and kind of duck under. No, maybe he's playing the combo. I think he's playing the combo. But I think he's only going to try to make the three. Oh, okay, oh. or neither one because now he doesn't have a pocket for, for either. Yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. like they're taking a little break. All right. And while they do that, we're going to do the same. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 2022 Derby City Classic here down in uh, Elizabeth, Indiana. Ashley, it's so nice of you to join us. Thanks so much for sitting in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see what happens after the break. You and me both.
And we're back here. Sky back from his break. We're 3-3. Three, three. three balls to go. Both these players two balls away from winning game number two. Federer Gorse with a one-game lead. This is Summerfield Habner with Bad Boys TV joined in the booth by Ashley Woodward. Yeah. I was talking to Skylar a little bit. He was like, hung too many balls. And I said, yeah, you feel good? He said, I actually feel really good. Yeah, awesome. So, And uh, when I looked over there, Billy was running out. Was so he? he? Yeah, Jason didn't look too happy, so. I didn't get to see the score, but. Man, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a quick match one way or the other. Oh, yeah. Neither of those guys waste any time. Well, Mr. 714 himself. It's pretty incredible. That was unbelievable. Yep. If anybody was going to do it, it's going to be Jason. He said it's the hardest thing he's ever done. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. I can't even imagine that kind of focus. He's such <sighs> a neat guy, too, another family man. He is. Very. Ara, his wife, is actually going to come. I think she's getting here Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, is she? Yeah. Cool. Yep. No kiddos, just his wife? No kiddos, just yeah. his wife. That'll be nice, able to get away. Yeah. Now, you guys live pretty close to here, don't you? No, we actually live in Texas. Oh, you're in Texas now? Yep. I didn't know that. What part? Uh, Lubbock, where Texas Tech is. He, uh, Got it. Scholar used to live in Kentucky, but we ended up moving to Texas. That's cool. I spent my first time down in Texas this year, actually. I oh, went down okay. for the Texas Open. That was really fun. Mm, how'd you like it? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't get to see a lot of it. I saw the inside of a convention center, but uh, oh. I, I'm sure yeah. there's a lot more to see that I would enjoy <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> for sure. Is Texas it, that's Open where you're is. from? Um, Texas or where the Texas Open was? Uh, from Texas? Yes. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Texas girl. Very cool. Take a straight back. Oh, three railer. Three rail inside. Smoking that Ooh. inside. Wow. Unbelievable. Definitely that's, shot that's of the game the so far. That's the highlight button right there. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to freeze that one. <laughs> what a shot, man. That was unbelievable. It's like a road map. Knows exactly where it's going. That probably made Fetter shake a little bit in his boots because that was, that was pretty. You'd hope so. Locked him up right there, too. Yep. Maybe that break did him good. Yeah, it really can. It can change things pretty dramatically. It, yes. Fetter not wanting to make this ball. Just playing the same thing. Uh, Sky might. He may okay. elect to make that eight ball. Leave him on the rail. Uh, yep, he may just shoot it and not make it also. Making that ball is dangerous because you do. You leave him an open, open shot on the spot, and that's just really makeable for a lot of these players. Yeah. Got quite the light discussion going on over here. <laughs> Stolen, don't know where to put it. Yep. Yep, he didn't make it. No real shot here for, oh, never mind. Looks like Federer is going to play three rails in the side pocket here. Guys, really working through it over here. I think they're struggling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you. Sometimes human beings need volume buttons. <gasps> we, we got them on our radios. That. <laughs> wow. That's a little short, but man, was that uh, close. I thought it was going. Yep, controls that cue ball too, keeps him down there. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sky liked that one too. <laughs> I was He's chuckling. <laughs> Skylar just made a little comment to him. He's always got a smile <laughs> on his face, man. He really seems to love what he does. He does. Now, how long has Sky just been playing pool? Um, started when he was 16, but he did a, a year of college. Uh huh. And then after that, he was strictly pool. Wow. <sighs> Double kill. Get out of there. Don't you dare. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Um, the negative is he loses a ball here. The positive is that means he's going to tie up another ball with that ball, which doesn't allow Fetter an, an open shot on the spot shot. So that could that actually be a good thing. It's going to be interesting to see what Federer does here. Uh, this is a time where I think a lot of players are going to elect to make the eight ball. Yeah. Come back up table. Well, something crazy happens when he scratches. No. Well, you might have called, man, that cue ball's going right <laughs> at that <laughs> it corner did pocket. look like it. You're some kind of magic, Ashley. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what you doing out there? <laughs> 
this is a really interesting shot. Um, kind of a derivative of a straight pool shot. Making He might be shooting the bottom ball, but a lot of players I'll see make contact with the top ball, trying to get get it to come back in line. Yeah. The three ball going to the side, one ball coming down and back up. Sky the key was doing to that is hitting only one of them. Yep. Sky did a beautiful job there uh, hiding the one ball from Federer. I think he might try to do the same with the four ball here. Yeah, but then he leaves that three ball wide open in the middle. If he can leave it on this side, though, hopefully he can block the bank lane with the one of the three. That is true. I think that's what he was thinking. Boy, I don't want to be banking that one. I guess you can bank that three back at the upper right-hand corner pocket, but if you do that cue ball... you got to cross it. Yeah. And the cue ball's got a good chance of breaking out the 4-1, and that's the last thing you want to do. Both these players two balls away. Unless it... I don't think you can clear that one. I think you might roll it into him. Yep, he's playing the three. Oh, man, just a little bit wide. In a pocket, though. Hmm. All right, so Fetter can kind of just play to make that three and leave Sky that same bank. He could also take the straight buck in the four, and I'm a little surprised he's not. It's kind of a free shot. I think it shot. might be an easier shot than this one. Yeah. Oh, he was trying to get around it. Well, Sky's going to like this. So this is kind of a juicy free one rail. He's playing to that lower right-hand corner pocket. See the cue ball come down and then straight back up table. And yeah, this is definitely a freebie. I think so too. I bet, I bet on Sky to make this ball. Oh, cue ball barely Beautiful missed shot. it. Yep. Uh-huh. Hanging up in the pocket, man. The biggest difference between one pocket and bank pool is that's a great shot in one pocket. Very. Is, Especially with the new rule, you can't yeah. jump the ball off the table. Yeah, interesting. It's definitely. Yeah, a couple new rules this year. Yeah. There's that one. Uh, both players can't be negative. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that one. Yeah. Uh, after so many, it's uh, negatives. It's a loss of game. I think negative, negative five. five. Yeah. yeah. That's new. Keep trying it going keep faster, yeah. Yep, trying to. All right, Fetter taking that straight back that he didn't take earlier. A little short. I think he had a better angle on it uh, earlier than he did today, or er, today, if just then. Yeah, I think you're right. I mm, think that four dressed up pretty nice, though. <sighs> Skyler's got to be loving this. Yeah, cross on the four, going cross side here, and then straight back on the one. Here we go. Very nice shot. Nice. So Braxton likes to watch his dad play pool? Loves it. Did he watch the Moscone Cup? Oh, every minute of it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Is he talking quite a bit? Yes. Not putting together uh, full sentences, but he's definitely got some words. Nice. Wow, nice. and he's out. All right, Skyler strikes again, 1-1. One, one. Beautiful way to end that game. Yes, it was. Now, I think the pressure is going to be on Fetter. Of course, he doesn't get... Nervous though. He's yeah. he's a lot like Skyler though, when it comes to their style of play. Their, I guess, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Kind of like their calmness. They don't get nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, uh, I don't know if it's that youthful energy or if it's just kind of the realization that sometimes things go your way and sometimes they don't. I mean, both these yeah. players totally capable of running straight through this tournament and winning it all. And it's got to go one player's way, and there's always got to be a loser as well. So I think they have pretty good perspective, and they seem to carry that with them. I agree. I have seen more players tapping an open rack. I, I see them, like, rack, and they're looking around, and then they got the rack, and they're holding the side, and they're tapping <laughs> on it. And I'm like, how, how do you think you're fixing one problem without creating another? But it, it's crazy, the stuff they do with that. It really is. Yeah. I'm sure there's a reason. Getting them tight. Yeah. Well, hoping for that five ball in the lower left-hand corner pocket. Skyler trying to squat that cue ball towards the center. Five didn't go. Does a terrific job squatting the cue ball. Hopefully we see a ball go in. Come on, nine ball. <sighs> All right. Nothing doing. Uh, not a terrific opening shot, though, for Fetter. 
Uh, that five ball is looking pretty juicy from there. Seven straight back. Yeah, that, that, that one ball feels big from there. What do you think? Maybe he's going for the four ball. Four ball around the three, huh? Yeah. That's tough, though. Yep, and you watch oh, it just yeah. bend around that ball. I mean, it really does just banana around. Yeah. I know when you watch them in slow-mo, you can get to see you that. You can but really see it, yeah. yeah. How it comes off that rail. It's just crazy. Boing. Yeah. Somebody needs to put sound effects to it. <laughs> that would make for a really good video. <laughs> now he's, what, taking the six by the nine? Yep. Oh, the eight. The eight. And, yeah, I think he's he's definitely got it, man. Just doesn't want to get to that rail. Hits it a little wide. Yeah. I think that nine might have had him a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to not think about. Yeah. And you really got to put that out of your mind. All right, so Fetter striking first there with one ball. Uh, leaving Skyler in a really good position here, though. Going to see a cross side in the seven ball. It almost doesn't look like it goes, but if you think about it, it really clears that six. Yeah. yeah it looks like the six ball towards mm -hmm. the bottom of those side pockets, center of the table. Oh. And he might have been thinking about it, too, there again. I think he got a little lucky, though. Maybe. That yeah. three. Yep, the three crosses pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the corner pocket is pretty big crossing that three ball. You got to do something to manipulate the cue ball. Otherwise, that line is dead at that upper right-hand corner pocket. Yeah. Riddle me this. Do you know a bank pool player named Mel? Old guy wears a ball cap, glasses, salt and pepper beard. Sounds really familiar. He's playing here. He's had a heck of a tournament. Um, he beat Filler. And I, I know him as just a terrific bank pool player, but somebody called him by a different name, and he's always gone by Mel. And, I, like, I saw him at the U.S. Open Bank Pool Championship, and um, he he didn't even play the tournament. He just went to went to gamble. And I'm like, what's this guy's name? So I thought maybe you'd know. I do not. If I see him, I'm going to point him out. Do. Well, Billy's smiling pretty bright. I think he might have got that one. I think you beat Jason. Well, I mean, Billy smiles. Billy smiles yeah. all the time. Hard to tell. But Jason doesn't look quite as smiley. So. No, especially coming off that loss with Fetter. Yeah. Straight to another loss in the banks. That's going to play a little toll on you. So the finals have been established then? It has. It's um, Fetter and... Uh, I don't remember either. I keep putting you on the spot. Don't Mika? worry about it. Uh, Mika won yesterday. I don't know if he won today. I saw Mika play the funniest shot I've ever seen in my life uh, in the match yesterday. He didn't have an extension, didn't have his extension out, and he got locked. Let's see. This would be cue ball, object ball, and he couldn't reach over here, couldn't get around it, so he was laid out like with his back to here over the table, and for at a point he had like his cue behind his head and this cameraman was, I mean, just right in his face. I can't wait to see the images <laughs> from it. <laughs> and he drilled the ball. Oh, he did? Got shaped, too. Oh, oh, man. It's unbelievable. I hope I'm screwing it up. I think Sky might have one more. One of them does. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it looks like he's looking at throwing that six ball. And if he can get enough spin on that, he should be able to do it. Either that or playing the seven in the upper left-hand corner pocket. I think the seven would be a safer shot because you got the six to worry about, or the mm -hmm. seven to worry about clearing. You shoot the six. I think if he throws the six, he nudges the seven out of the way, but you're right. He's taking that seven ball. Yeah. Less to worry about. Well, maybe not. Oh. Well, Jason won 3-0, if wow. I heard that correctly. Uh, yep. Is that what you heard? I, I did indeed. Billy was in a way better mood. <laughs> yeah. Hitting the person that won. Now, good news is he doesn't have to play anymore. <laughs> yeah, the bad news is he doesn't get to play anymore. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Wow. I, I have seen see Billy's demeanor one. change a lot. He has. Just since 2020 uh, when he won that one pocket. That's one of the most memorable matches of one pocket I've ever watched in person. That was pretty remarkable. 
Billy, he, he banks good, one pocket good. He's just an all-around good player. Indeed. And growing. So. You know, I started seeing them play. I went to the U.S. Open uh, Bank Pool and One Pocket Championship in 2020, and he and Shane seemed to have been hanging out a lot. And Shane's always banked the ball well, but it seemed like he and Billy were spending a lot of time together, and I've never seen good Shane ball. bank stronger. And I wonder if Billy, <laughs> Billy taught him a thing or two <laughs> he about might banking have. the ball. Shane but then Shane came back and beat him in the U.S. Open, so oh, no. which was yeah. a heartbreaker. Well, I can't believe he drilled that ball around. I'm going to save that one, too. That was a good shot. Trying to eke by this nine ball again. I'm curious why not take the six ball. I guess this is a pretty natural line here. But part of your pocket is blocked with that nine. I was going to say, that's... Well, I don't oh, think it matters no, he touched it. Oh, he did touch yeah. it? Uh, I don't oh, think he's Oh, he definitely touched it. it. We're going to watch that replay right now. Oh, we got to... I swear that ball moved. I should shut up, but. No. Oh, maybe not. It didn't. Oh, no, man. It did not. <laughs> <seen things>. All <laughs> right. <laughs> no, you're fine. And I'm, not, I'm not saying Fetter, yeah, would try and pull one by any means. I didn't think it did. It didn't look like it, but. Wow. All right. Makes that one two. All right, that makes it 4-2. If my count's correct, well, it must be correct. Mm -hmm. mm. Scholar needs all of them. Confident that nine ball goes straight back. I think that's his only option. Yeah. Here. Well, he's going for it. He's swinging. I love the shot. Oh, double kiss. All right, pressure's on Sky here. No pressure, but lots of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> lots of pressure. Does Sky watch his matches ever? Actually, he does. Uh, several of them when I'll live stream them. If there's a certain shot he wants to look at or mm -hmm. a certain rack he wants to watch, he actually goes back and does watch them. I can't tell you how many times he's watched Moscone. Really? Yeah. That's a little fun fact. He uh, he still goes back and watches different matches of Moscone. I think Skyler's been the MVP of the last five Moscones for me. I mean, he's been the most stable player, and it really seems when when everybody else is struggling, he's the he's kind of the glue that gets them going again. Yeah, he's uh, definitely one of the most consistent. Yeah. I think calm, cool, collected. Totally, his demeanor really yeah. lends lends himself to that atmosphere. He loves it. If you ask him he'll about the atmosphere, he loves it. He loves the pressure, the audience, everything. That's so cool. Uh, How did he feel about Earl not being able to participate this year? He hated it. Yeah. He uh, One of his things that he always wanted to do was get to play with Earl on the Moscone. And he was like, I never thought it would happen. And the yeah. one chance that he got, <sighs> that just that makes happened. it even, I didn't think it could be worse for him. You know, it makes it yeah. worse. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a bummer. It was something that he always wanted to do. It was like a lifelong thing. and He thinks the only chance he would have had was that one. And you know what? Well, Earl tested negative. Oh, no the way. The whole time, negative. Oh. But because he wasn't vaccinated. God. That's such a... Oh, man. Oh. Fetter sealing out game number three. Taking a two-to-one lead. I'm predicting a hill hill, though. I think you're right about that. I am. We're hoping to see that here. Fetter closing that one out. That one really could have gone either way. I think so, too. Yeah, we talk a lot about there not really being a lead in bank pool because all these players can run five and out from anywhere, so you really just can't leave that opening. You know, it's that one yeah. mistake as opposed to, yeah, the balls you make. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I noticed there hasn't been a name change on there for... For quite oh, a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm wifey, and I haven't even changed mine in his. Uh -huh. in I like that. Yeah. Uh, fiance is way more exciting. It is. It gives <laughs> yeah. a nice little ring to it. <laughs> well, 
Jason over there. We got quite a crowd building around this Federer Gorst and Skylar Woodward match here. This is the 2022 Derby City Classic Bank Pool Championship. We're in round 10. This is Fetter Gorst and Skylar Woodward. Fetter taking a two to one lead. I am joined in the booth here with Ashley Woodward. Hey guys. Hey, have hey. you done much commentating? Um, I have, I've done a little for Ray. Uh -huh. um, this is my first time doing it for bad boys though. Well, you're so. gonna have to come join us again. We're here oh, all the time. For sure. If you're ever bored, wanna come take a load off, <laughs> talk some trash. You got love it. Love to have you. I was told I couldn't be partial. Yeah. During, oh, during the, <laughs> absolutely during the can. <laughs> I said, well, it's gonna be a little hard. I'm about to play Efren here in a little bit, and uh, they're gonna make a lot of fun of me, I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do Are my you best on the stream off. table? I am. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Man, it's a, a dream come true for sure. I'm really excited. Not many can say that they played Efren. That's so. the truth. Yeah, I'm I'm honored. He's still hitting them. Yes, About he as does. Good as he man. does before. Yeah. <laughs> Straight back nine ball. I think he's favored to make this one. Nothing in his think way. You're right about that. Almost hung up. So still able to rub that rail just a little bit. Um, later in the week, you probably won't be able to get away with that. But yeah. those ones close to the rail there are significantly easier because you do have that little margin for error. Two ball straight back. They're talking about Billy and Jason here too. Yeah, he said Billy didn't come tell us what happened. But Jason did come by and say something. Yeah, Jason came by and said 3 nothing, And he definitely said, I won. Was he joking? I don't know. Maybe he was. He didn't seem like it. Huh. What's well, a bad sign if the tournament desk doesn't know? <laughs> no. <laughs> and both players left. Yeah. But Billy didn't come up to the table and Jason did. So I think it would be Jason. Yeah, you would think. Wow. It's a touchy shot there. Yeah. Boy, flirting with both those pockets. All right, spotting one up. Better taking a one nothing lead. Skyler with a pretty wide open table here. Somehow not a lot doing. I think I like the six ball. You think the six around the one? I do. I think it's going to be another one of those bending shots like Fetter played. Yeah, yeah. I like the six. I like the eight ball. I like those close, close to the rail shots that are just kind of straight back. Wow. What a shot. It. She knows her husband. <laughs> there we go. Skyler taking it to one. Straight back eight ball. I think you're right. Ashley's calling them all here, Rick. Uh, first time I've ever seen you play. <laughs> I know. A oh, little wide there. Uh, yep. All right, one, one. That's a tough part of the table to be on. That three ball goes pretty natural here. Can probably play the nine, but he's got to get through the gap of the five three. I think the three ball's your best shot here. I think he's going to take the nine yeah. on the side. That's what it looks like. Yep. Definitely right. a different shot yeah. than what you would normally think. Fetter so. does diff play a different bank game, though. If you do think about it, some of the, his shot selection yep. is different. I love that. I love all the different walks of life that play bank pool and seeing all these pool players try and learn bank pool. I mean, you see these pros and all their jerseys and their sponsored stuff, and you see Ed roll in in his <laughs> boots, and, like his paint and pants. <laughs> and Ed has been banking the ball for 45 oh years, yeah. and he's, I mean, Ed, Ed's too. not, yeah, John is the yeah. perfect example. Yep, John is pretty amazing. That was a good match. Y'all commented that one, I believe. Run back in Thorpe. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That I heard was a really good one. Man, they're they're amazing. So much fun to watch. Hill Hill last ball, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I Old thought. school versus the new school right yep. there. Who do we got here? Sergio and Julio. Julio Burgos. All right. That'll be a good one. They played about the same speed. I know Burgos. I don't know if I know Sergio. Sergio ran around with Skyler for a little bit. Oh, did he? Yeah. I know who you're talking about. Got it. Yes. Well, that'll be fun. That's round two, Real one pocket, hit. starting at 8 o'clock. What do you call that? Two rail? Two rails on the side? Uh, yeah, or a Z bank. Wow. That looks uh, good to uh, me. Oh, a little short. Oh, God, man. Man, right there. All right, so seven still up. We haven't missed a point. Fetter got a straight back on this five. Boy, 
how do you defend against that? I don't think you can. Yeah, you just got to take your opportunity and make him. I think so, too. Never mind. He's going to clip this three ball. I am surprised at that shot selection. I'm I'm curious to watch this shot to see what the thinking is. Yeah, I'm curious what he's thinking, too. Um, I, I like those clip banks, but it seems like that's so much less predictable for him than the straight backs. In this, with so many balls on the table and just letting your cue ball go like that, it's kind of risky. Yeah, a lot of things can happen from there. Like this, kind of. Totally. I hope Skylar makes it, but it's probably Cross favored side. to make this, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if he can hold the cue ball down there, I mean, he's looking great. That's... It's not a That's patch true. of peas, but it looks good. Bada boom. Don't get stuck back oh. there. That's unfortunate. It looks like the one might still go around that nine ball now. He didn't seem too concerned about it. Normally, he'd kind of tap his chalk on the table. Uh -huh. So he doesn't seem like he's. That's how you know when Sky's mad. He taps his chalk politely. Yeah. If you yeah. know he's out of line, he's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice shot. Oh, no, it went short. It did. I didn't think that would shorten up like that. I didn't either. Left it nice, though. Sometimes when you're worried about going wide, it, you, you do everything you can to hit as close as you can to that nine ball, and you're like, oh, I had more room than I thought. I think that's a common mistake in banks, though, is yeah. misjudging the angle. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's wild. These, I mean, players that don't miss a ball for forever watching them bank the ball, and yep. Everybody misses. It really shows how difficult these shots really are. All right. Three ball. Does not look like he's playing in the side pocket. Uh, I think he's two railing it again. Yeah. Wow. I think that one's out too. Man. Couldn't have been much closer. No. Not at all. Yeah, that's a tough one. But the speed he played that is really... I mean, the, the whole key to that Z-Bank. If you hit it too hard, there's no way you're getting that second one to, to drift in there. Yeah. Here comes your little clip shot you like. Yep, this one pocket shot. Swish. Nailed it. Nice shot, Skyler. That was pretty. Taking it to 3-1. Come on, Hill Hill. Yes, indeed. I like Hill Hills as long as Skyler wins. Yeah. <laughs> I like Hill Hills, too. <laughs> and I'm typically rooting for Skyler also. <laughs> I think he's going more for the safe. Well, yeah. Uh, one of Sky's sponsors, Kevin and Sherry Ross. Are yes. They are just such sweet people. They're the people who uh, initially helped me out getting started commentating. Oh, that's awesome. They're the first ones that invited me into the booth. So. Yeah, we were I sad they weren't here this year. Yeah, me too. I always give those guys a shout out and appreciative to them. Real Birds TV. Yes, indeed. Yep, love to them. I know something's going on with Sherry and her family, so all all my love to them and yes. hope things go well and we see you real soon, you guys. They're all such right. a sweet couple. Yeah, they're great. Clipping that five gets the cue ball out of the way a little long. All so right, I don't think he left anything easy. No, Not a gimme. He didn't. Yeah, I mean straight back on this five. That one is just dead on that rail. Right in the center, too. Yep. Dead center. Yeah, that's not a fun bank. Not at all. And no, neither player can afford to leave the cue ball down there. I think he might uh, play into the three ball. Well, I might play into the three ball and not make it. And just leave the same shot for, for Fetter. It's not frozen. I don't know why he he's not doing that one shot he did earlier. Off the rail, clip the three into the side rail. Or to the end rail. And put the cue ball right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It must be frozen, though. Because that's normally. He might still just be stuck in offensive mindset. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think the two ball passes straight back. I think it gets around the eight, and I think you can miss the three. He's not looking that direction, though. He's looking at that five ball. That. He likes that five. I don't blame him. Nope. Yeah. Well, you called it. Nope. That's the one. Went a different way, but played the same shot. Same yeah. idea. Better wasting no time. Is He's he going to play the straight one? back. One must not be frozen. Oh, I think he might cross the, the five ball. Maybe not. We'll, we'll have to see. I think you're probably right. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough to stiff that one. I was gonna say he's wild. But yeah, this is scary. I mean, it's really easy to scratch on the shot coming back across, um, and it's really easy to sell out the two eight here. If that five gets in the game, otherwise oh. Sky's looking good here. Yep, he jumped out of his seat. He's ready for that one. Yeah, see the fast pace change. Oh. I'll tell you. <laughs> he pops right up. <laughs> Like you were shot out of a rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 90 miles an hour. I think he definitely needs to keep the pressure on him. Boom. I didn't realize how loud that main TV was. It's it's really loud. Wow. And playing at this one of these tables over here when it lets out, everybody just, I mean, come, and they have no idea matches are going on. Cross yeah. side for Skyler to make this hill hill. He had a long, oh. oh. Man, those are the kind that I know I'm going to look back on and just be like, I missed that ball for, ah. Especially leaving that five like that for Fetter. Yep, the five with the eight sitting there. Yeah. Fortunately, the three's hung in the pocket, and Fetter needs them all. I think that's the only reason he was okay with chancing that. Yeah. So Filler kinda, lost. Filler lost. He did. Who was Filler playing? Was it uh, Josh Roberts? It might have been Josh. I love watching Josh play. Josh is such a good player. Excellent shot. Very calm. Totally. Cool as can be. Yeah. All right, Billy eight ball. To Jason Shaw. Billy did lose. Yes. Three nothing. Wow. That was so funny. I mean, I was so sure. Oh, I would have. Bet that Billy got it though. Glad I didn't. We got 60 minutes over here on the TV table, or whoever it is. Oh Lord! When they were chasing Alex around yesterday, it was the funniest damn thing because Alex is just marching around the boom mic, chasing him and oh, the yeah. lighting guy. It's like, the Jesus, microphone. <laughs> yeah. And I stand corrected. Um, Evan Lunda actually beat Josh Filler. Wow. In the banks. Boy, Evan is a force to be reckoned with, man. He banks the ball strong. He is. And his brother's a player also, yeah? He is. Yeah. I, I actually just never learned that recently. But I saw a dude earlier, and I was like, that isn't Evan Lunda? They look just alike. They really do. The hair's a little bit different. That's about it. Just a tad. But yeah, I watched Evan play uh, in a by-the-rail ring game up in the action room, and then I saw him play in the Banks ring game, and I was like, man, this dude. He's good at one pocket, too. Play. Yes, he is. Hmm, I'm not sure what he's thinking here. It does look like he can play the two rail, but he's not going to hold his cue ball. All right, so just land it up there. Trying to leave it center to center. Doesn't do so. I think he left a pretty good straight back for him. Yeah. Uh, but he got Whitey down there pretty good. He did. Which makes the shot definitely tough. Kind of, of a devil. freebie for Skyler. Yep, totally. <laughs> <laughs> we were dorking out and we were just naming pros as they were coming by. I'd be like, Evan Lunda. Yep. <laughs> Where's the next one? Yeah. A little wide. Oh. oh. Definitely. Oh, well, I was going to say a good place to leave it, but I think he could cross it in the side if he wanted to get risky with it. Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> Every time somebody gets loud, I gotta stand up. Oh yeah, see what they're looking at. Well, they come and talk trash to these guys. I, I'm pretty partial. I'm, I'm pretty defensive of the bad boys. They try pretty hard around here. Oh yeah, this is a tough sure. tournament, man. It is. Oh wow. Four four, barn burner pressures on. Do you think it was over? I'm not sure. I'm glad I wasn't wrong. Uh, I was wrong earlier in a, in a bank pool match. <laughs> I got the score wrong. I felt terrible. Sitting there like, all right, we're for Oh, never mind. The game's over. Gets there. Perfect yeah, hit. he did get a rail. Uh, fortunately, Sky can push away. Yep. I like pushing away from that ball a little bit more to create a little more distance. Make him have to 
to take care of their speed a little bit better. He might have been trying to freeze him on that point, though, and he may have done so. Is it in bank still that you have to be at a 45-degree angle when hitting the ball if frozen? Like when the cue ball and the ball are frozen together? Uh, here, if, if you're frozen, you can push right through it. Okay. Uh, Derby, you know how many referees they have at this entire tournament? How many? Two. Oh, goodness. And that's for, for the entire thing, so one on at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so not a lot of referees get called, and they've kind of created the rules. Nice shot, Sky. That was pretty. This is where the matches start taking a while. It really could. Yeah, this guy's not going to have much of a choice here. He's either going to have to take a foul. I think your best bet, honestly, is to follow the ball. A lot of players do that. Yeah, and not a common thing. There's my cohort, Mike D. Mike D, you <laughs> want to jump in here? Would you like to? You're, oh, yeah. you, you feel free to hang around as long as you want. You can come in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can go right up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're working through it here. <laughs> no, I, I, I misspoke. I was more offering my seat to oh. him. If you want to get out of here, you oh, do whatever no, you want. Fine. But we'd love to keep you around. And like we said, <laughs> the last thing we want to do is make Sky nervous at 4-4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, what are you doing out here? Ooh, straight back. Right here. Oh, so he ended up not scratch. Did he s no. He didn't. No, he followed it in. Or not followed it in. He oh. made it. Wow, that ball bent at the last minute, but man, Fetter wow. gets it to roll in. Wow, what a match there for Fetter Gore. Skylar Woodward putting up a fight. Ashley Woodward joining me in the booth here. Thank you yes. so much for being here. Thank you all for this having me. This has been really fun. It was. I enjoyed it. I'll probably be back. Please do. Yes. We love, we're love. we here all week, and we love having company. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Summerfield Habner with Bad Boys TV signing out. Brought to you by OB Custom Cues, Diamond Billiard Products. This is the 2022 Derby City Classic. Thanks for tuning in.